Shira, most powerful woman in the universe, was released on June 2010 in the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Behold, the most powerful man, no, the most powerful woman in the universe. Unless, well, I don't go there, so let's forget it. Yes, so here we have Shira, sister, twin sister of He-Man and alter ego of Princess Adora. And there's nothing really new about the package, even the Princess of Power sticker is old news by now, well, it has only been on Adora before this, but, well, since this is not the first figure it came with, it's the old news. Unless you have, you don't, you have not ever seen Adora, or he, her package, or any reviews, and so on then this sticker might be a new one for you. But, yes, it's the standard Masters of the Universe Classics package, so nothing new. And here we have older figures released in this line. And here we have some kind of paradox going on. Shira and Adora in the same picture, which is, well, it's basically impossible because they are the same person. Unless there's some evil magic going on or something. I don't know. And here we have a bio for Shira. And very nice looking Shira picture. And here we have Mr. Evil and his brainwashing attempts. Okay, that was the package. And here we ha have the Shira herself. So it's bye bye for the package and we'll continue for this here figure. Let's, let's, let's lower the camera a little bit. Okay. So, well, maybe if we don't, maybe if we, we put the camera back. So this is Shira. Looks like, well, not, maybe not straight from the cartoon, but almost straight. Uh, and let's start with her joints, because that's the part that might annoy you the most. So we get it over with first. So wrist, elbow, this bicep simulation wonder thing which is seems to be stuck maybe this one works I don't know if you can see because well it rotates 
and now I have a shoulder upside down. Same here. Then we have a shoulder. Well, it goes around and up and down. The hair hinges a little bit. The head side to side. No up because of her hair mm, little bit down but doesn't stay down because the hair is so heavy that it brings her head back to this position. Then there is, well, like women, all women, there is a joint under here, but you can't use it. And there is a waist rotation, but it's a little bit hard because her dress is so hard. It's made from hard material. Which also make, makes that her legs doesn't go any further than this on the side. And back and forth, this is the all it goes. And of course, her leg is, well, it really doesn't even turn because of this dress. Because legs on women do not turn like on male figures, but they go more like this way and not this way. So because of this dress, it doesn't move. Then there is a knee. and the boot and ankle and luckily ankles are not loose they are just great she does have weak and well, we no weak ankles but weak knees that's why I have put some rubber band in her knee joints and you can see it okay and well, let's go to the details. Like I said, this is the most cartoon accurate Shira we have to date, and probably the most accurate that that we can get, unless Mattel gets filmation rights. She has a nice chest. Um, well, it, her chest is nice, but I mean this thing on her dress. Plain gold bracelets. And same on boots. And her headdress and nice looking face. And lots of hair. Very stiff plastic hair.
this cape it is removable but because putting this head back on her is pretty hard I'm not taking it off and so I le left the cape on because it I, requires removing the head because the cape is attached with this ring thing here Okay, but let let's take a look of some her some of her accessories. At first, 